A local business in Lackawanna County is celebrating 100 years of serving its community. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas spoke to the owner of Coney Island about its history behind this milestone. The sizzling of a grill, a sound that has echoed throughout Coney Island of Scranton for a century. 100 years, yeah. Brendan Bell has been the owner of the restaurant for nearly 10 years. He's the third family to take over the business and says Coney Island's most interesting story is how it began. The man who owned the place came from New York as an immigrant and he was smart enough to name the place something that people can recognize, Coney Island from New York. So from that day on, I'm sure he wouldn't have thought that I'd be sitting here talking about him 100 years later. Meeting generations of loyal customers and transforming throughout the years, all with the same goal in mind, to serve wieners. You can look at on the walls of our restaurant and see from the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s all the way up until uh, probably the 80s. Bell says they use all local ingredients, creating wieners, hamburgers, and fries unlike any other. Customers can make their mark either by being recognized as a regular with their face on the wall or leaving a pin from where they're visiting from on a map. The bond of a hundred years splashed across the shop with no intentions of ever shutting its doors. The Great Depression, we never closed. World War II, we never closed. All throughout history, this building has stayed open every day except for Sundays. In Scranton, Sydney Costas, 2822, Eyewitness News. The owner of the restaurant tells us he hopes they celebrate one another 100 years.